Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Money Lock Journey. I really do appreciate each and every person that has subscribed to my channel. This is my videos, comment, like, subscribe, and so forth. Um, it's been a long journey. That's that's one thing I want to state. It will be two years in July 21st, 2018. And I've learned so much uh, from... You know, the videos that I've showed you, I've learned a lot about my journey. I'm actually supposed to be getting my retining done today around the afternoon time, but about an hour or so. But um, I want to talk to you about my color and how that happened. Um, because someone commented, you know, my other video and asked me, you know, what, like, what colors did you use? Uh, what things did you do to your hair? And I say, you know, I'll make a video about it because that's a long thing to talk about. So, as you know, when I first started doing coloring my hair and you saw it purple, that was vegan dye. I didn't want to, I didn't want to permanently dye my hair until I knew more about the products I'll be using and the process and so forth and how it would damage my hair if, if so or if not. And then I said, you know, I'm finally, I'm gonna finally do it. So I did it. And the camping video that I made, it was actually on that day that I first dyed my hair, and um, the before I left to camp, um, I dyed my hair the first time. It was a honey blonde. It's a gold honey honey bronze. Something honey blonde something dark bronze it was the bronze it was bronze yeah it was bronze and then after which you're not supposed to do don't do this unless you really want to see your hair but um the following day i dyed my hair twice so that same night the next day and the night around nighttime i dyed my hair all of it i dyed all of it with the honey blonde because the first time it was bronze the next apply was honey blonde and then the next apply so double apply so I didn't rinse my hair wait till it did it I did right after I applied the honey blonde then I got the next color which was light blonde and I did my tips I did all my tips and I did all this on a Facebook um, Facebook video if I can find the Facebook video I'll show you some of it if not I can't but um, I did this all on Facebook Live because <sighs> I wanted to make sure I was doing it right. And I was honestly, I was so scared for my sister locks because I thought they were going to fall out. But they didn't, as you can see. I still have all 418 locks. Um, and then when I got in the package, I'm, I'm not used to dying as much. So when I got an extra booster in the package, I'm like, what is this? I didn't put it in my color. Letting you know I didn't put in my color, I just put it to the side and just kept doing my color. Someone said you're supposed to put that inside the color while you're doing it. It's like, wow, that's crazy. So I went back with what extra color left I had of the blonde and I put that inside of the liquid and I shook it up and did it. As you can see, it's on my tips more than anything versus um, the top part of my hair. But of course, my my new my natural growth is starting to come back into tat but um as you can see it's my tips and so when i first finished coloring my hair it was red it looked reddish in the light so i said you know the color's not going to come until you know it's completely dry and i haven't wet it or anything like that so I was like, okay, it's, it's okay, it's okay. I'll see when the color happens. And then the color came. So, um, there's not really much to say about, you know. Oh, after that, I realized that I had to make, I had, it. W I went from washing my hair once to two months a month, two week, two times a month, to now maybe like every three days I was washing my hair. Why? Because um, it was dry. I don't want. I didn't want to get dry. I didn't want to risk breakage or damage or anything of that sort. So 
I just kept moisturizing my hair with conditioner. There's certain conditioners that I use that helps the color stay alive and also strengthens my hair and moisturizes my hair. And I also have the lock conditioner that gives protein to the hair. So there's a lot of things that I thought about after my color. But my friend asked me, when well, my friends asked me, are you going to keep up with the color? Because you know it's hard to keep up with the color if you, you know, you tripled dyed it you know you're not going to get the same colors i was going to be a mixture of whatever you put in there so i said you know i'm just gonna this was the last time i want to color my hair because honestly that whole process of hoping that my hair doesn't fall out was so risky i i didn't like it myself and i i'm not saying i don't suggest you that you don't dye your hair but what I am saying is that if you do dye your sister locks, please know the risk. Please know that it's, it's a risk. And um, if I were to do if I were to do this all again, I would probably only did it once and just use the light blonde in the booster. If I did it all over again, but I am happy about the product that I have because when I first, if you could see. My old picture versus my new picture, you can see that my hair was dark brown, like, you know, because that's my natural hair color. But when I got this, I was like, boy, you can see the color. It's like I went straight blonde or something, but I didn't. But it's a big improvement for me because for years I've been trying to find a dye, a temporary dye that would like, you could see the color without having to go in the sun. But then I realized I got to do it permanently. But I didn't want to pay for a professional to do it. So I did it. And I love the product that it came out. You know, I thought it was going to be really bad. Really bad, actually. But <laughs> it wasn't. So I'm excited for what I have. And the inches that are coming along with it. And the, the uh, thickness, you know... I'm trying to keep up with the bunching, as you can see here. You, you can see my bunching. But you know, everybody's locks are not perfect. You have some people that are like, oh, your hair, each strand is the same length. And you have some people's hair that completely locks, some people's hair that are not halfway locked. And you have bunching hair and thickness and growth there. You're not going to have a perfect lock, okay? But at the end of the day, your hair is locked. Now, if it's locked correctly, there's a difference. So, what I say about sister locks is if I were to get them again, I would get them. Plain. I would just get them. But that's just me. So, um, I hope you guys like this video. Um, I hope it helped you in sight, in, you know, what to do with your hair if you have sister locks or not, um, how to take care of it, what to prepare for if you do dye your sister locks. Me, I'm not dyeing my sister locks anymore, ever again. I say that now, but I'm really not going to dye it ever again because I don't want to, I don't like dealing with that. I don't. But, um, thank you again for watching my video. Uh, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. There will be more videos. Trust me. I'm so sorry for the extended wait. The reason why was because I was going through a period of I wanted to make sure that social media wasn't shaping me. And I was still being, and I was still myself without social media doing that. So I'm back on now. I'm on Instagram, Monty Lock Journey, same on my Instagram as the same on YouTube, as the same on Facebook and my like page. So I appreciate you guys. You know, help me out here with some ideas, tips, comments, suggestions on what I should do with my hair, um, the maintenance, the treatment. If you have any questions about getting sister locks and you want to get sister locks and you have those questions about is my hair going to be thick? Is my hair going to be curly? Am I going to be missing out on certain things if I do get sister locks? So if you want to know those certain things, I will be happy to ask 
or to talk to you about all that and explain to you the things that I thought in the beginning that are now different. So you won't know it until you give it a try. And yeah. So, alright guys. Bye.